Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me once again for another spirit review video. And today we'll be taking a look at the Elijah Craig Small Batch Bourbon in its current incarnation right here. It is bottled at 94 proof. Retail pricing on it is roughly between $25 and $30, somewhere in there. And we're going to compare it to the older uh, little squatty bottle of Elijah Craig, age dated 12 year old with a big red 12 right there. And we're going to see what the difference is. This bottle happened to be from around 2013. Now, we're also going to check out one of the newer store picks of this Elijah Craig small batch. Of course, it does say small batch on the bottle because they're using the same bottle. But this is not a small batch. This is a single barrel selected by a specific store. This happens to be Angel's Beverage in Plano, Texas. It is bottled at 94 proof. Pricing on it is usually, should be about the same as the standard. Every now and then they'll throw five, ten dollars on top, but this should be the norm, about 30, 35, somewhere in there. All right, now we're going to start with the nosing, and we'll start with the current form Elijah Craig small batch on the nose. Wow, caramel forward, lots of caramel, golden apples, so it kind of does have a nose reminiscent of a caramel apple. Mixed berries, cherry a little leading the way there. Cinnamon is heading the way for the spices. There is a little clove behind there. There's a hint of an orange oil. And a pretty good amount of oak tannins that you can kind of nose back there in the back. The cinnamon is pretty Pretty bold in this one, along with the red fruits, the cherry. Overall, pretty nice. All right, let's compare it to the older one. Let me cleanse with a little coffee bean. All right, 2013 Elijah Craig, age dated 12. Wow, okay, big brown sugar, almost maple syrup, not with the viscosity or the sweetness, but... Um, just with the flavor, the aromatic of uh, maple syrup. Mm. Orange oils, mixed berries, dried apricots, baking spices, so a little cinnamon, a little clove, a little nutmeg. Cinnamon and clove feel very balanced. And the nutmeg is just a sprinkling. Old leather. A little bit of an orange oil. And oak. Really, really nice oak. Alright. And finally for the single barrel. Mm, okay. Combination of the two almost on the nose. Brown sugar and caramel. Mixed berries, like red fruits, red licorice. A little bit of a roasted nut, not really roasted, let's call it just a lightly toasted almond thing going on here. Red, yeah, it is that red licorice. The baking spices sprinkled on top, cinnamon above clove. Again, little little nutmeg, pretty good amount of oak, but it feels smells sweet here. Overall, pretty nice. Again, this one was much more uh, caramel, uh, apple kind of forward with all the red fruits kind of dropping in behind. This one, big brown sugar, uh, dried apricots, dried fruit, and. Um, um, it seemed like the uh, depth was a little deeper on the nose here. And this one was kind of like a combination of the two. It had some of those fruity uh, aspects of this one, the orchard fruits, and then a little bit of depth with the leather uh, on this one and the oak. All right, let's get to the taste. All right, current form Elijah Craig small batch, 94 proof on the palate.
medium viscosity. Mm. Whoa, okay. Yeah, big caramel. Just a little brown sugar. Wow, big cinnamon swelling on that mid-palate. But right after you get the, the caramel with a little bit of brown sugar, you get that uh, golden apple. And it's a very sweet golden apple. Uh, you get a little bit of that uh, mixed berries. So um, with cherry probably leading on the front there. A little cherry heavy on the mixed berries. A little vanilla tone underneath. So that red licorice that I was picking up on the nose here is in here on the palate. It kind of runs underneath. Mid palate warming with that cinnamon, as I mentioned. A little clove behind it, not really any nutmeg. Little dusting of cocoa powder uh, heading into the back end. Little leather and a pretty big amount of oak. And so that amount of oak kind of brings me to one of the issues I was hearing uh, about you know when they dropped the age statement. People were concerned, oh, they're just going to use nothing but the young stuff for the new one. Well, with that amount of oak in it, it can't be just all new. I mean, if you were just bottling six to eight-year-old Elijah Craig, you wouldn't hardly get that much oak unless, I mean, unless it was just big and out of balance hot because then you'd have to be aging them really fast, trying to get, you know, pull the oak into the whiskey really hard. You know, we're talking upper tiers of those rick houses. Um, but to me, it seems like they are mixing in some older in the new stuff. So you're getting a good balance. For that price point, I think it's a classic bourbon, pro bourbon profile. As a matter of fact, that's what I've always thought about this one. Uh, this has been in my you know, Best Buy bourbon category for years and years, and it was simply because it had just classic bourbon characteristics. And for that, let's just go ahead and taste it and run that through. All right, don't let me down. I built you up, right? He's not going to let you down. Ooh. Big brown sugar. Wow. Medium, medium high viscosity. It's heading up there. It is rich. Big brown sugar. A little bit of caramel sweetness, but more just heavy, um, almost maple syrup flavor drizzled on that brown sugar mix of, um, I would almost call it like if you took red berries and you put them on the stove and you uh, added sugar and you kind of reduced them down, it's kind of that profile, almost jammy with the way the red fruits are. Red licorice underneath, that vanilla tone still running. The baking spices get sprinkled on top on the mid palate, kind of just broods and grows on that mid palate. Uh, you get this the clove and the cinnamon in balance. A uh, little bit of nutmeg, orange oils. Wow, they start showing up really late. Old leather, a little bit of tobacco. Let me try that one more time. There's so much, there is a lot going on. Even at that price point, there's just a lot going on. Okay, yeah, brown sugar, maple syrup, the red fruits. There's the orange oils, baking spices, and there's a nuttiness quality going on. It's kind of like a sweet almond, a little bit of a black walnut aspect. That's what I was missing. That's, I knew I was missing something in there. But I like the leather, a little bit of tobacco. And the orange oils. I always love orange oils and leather, old leather. Those two are just, yeah, in a classic old mature bourbon. Great, great characteristics. And it's still just rolling. Now, while I seem to really enjoy this bourbon, the one thing I used to not like, and this bottle reminded me of it when I was pouring it, was how the corks would kind of, uh, they would almost do this hourglass thing. And they were also oversized. So to replace this cork, you know, I save a lot of corks from old bottles and stuff. Um, 
it's hard to replace these unless you have another Elijah Craig that happens to fit that bottle just right. Uh, because once they start hourglassing, they'll fit right there. Perfect. But then when you push it down, oh no, yeah, that's not good. So I do not miss that. These bottles don't seem to have that problem. And even if I was to have to replace that, that's closer to a standard size. Uh, so, you know, while these were great bourbons, don't miss that about them. All right, now let's get to the single barrel. And I'm glad I gave myself time because that thing was still rolling. Even with water, it's hard to get that all the way out. All right. Elijah Craig, single barrel store pick. Medium high viscosity. It's pretty close to that one. It's a combination, it is. It's got a lot of brown sugar. It's got that caramel sweetness to it though. Oh, the roasted nuts. Uh, so this one kind of entered with sweet almond going into walnut. This one kind of shows up with a little bit of a toasted almond, roasted almond, somewhere in there. Almost hints at peanut, but not really. I'm just going to stick with almonds. A little walnut on the back end. Mm-hmm. And as you, as it enters, brown sugar, caramel, mixed red berries. Boy, that got that red licorice still running underneath. Orange oils. I like the way the caramel is still carrying throughout with those fruits, those red berries. Sprinkling of that uh, baking spices warms up maybe a little warmer than this one. This one seemed very very balanced on its kind of big brooding um, mid palate. This one's a little bit warmer. Never gets hot though. Leather and tobacco on the finish. Big oak as well. But the oak is not drying. The oak is not bitter. So this one, I mean. Again, a classic bourbon profile. And that's the one thing I will say about the Elijah Craig line throughout its lineage. It's always been a very classic bourbon. Matter of fact, when I poured these out in this room, I remember just, just smelling. You could almost smell like you were in a Rick house. That smell. If you've ever been to Kentucky and you go in there and you smell that angel share in there, that's what I was smelling when this poured these out. So really, really classic bourbon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you do, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. I really appreciate all those great comments I find here on YouTube. And if you can, join me over at Patreon, patreon.com slash liquorhound, where I'm doing a video review a week over there. And that's what's helping uh, fund my continuation of my YouTube channel. So I greatly appreciate any support you can do over there. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and cheers.